Hey, it's Thea Daniels and I am at the Cantati Accordion Festival where people are raising funds for music for kids in school to keep music alive and going and going and going and I ran into Ray Fernandez. Hey folks. Hey, and he wraps up the festival pretty much every year, right? Yeah, with the Mad Maggie's uh, band. We've been together quite a few, few years and um, we've been playing this accordion festival uh, every year for as long as I've been in the band, 10 years. That's true, because this has been going on for a little while. 10 years is a long time. Yeah, yeah I remember seeing Flaco Jimenez here before I joined the Mad Maggie. So even before then, it's been a fine destination to come down here to Katati. Every August, as long as fires stay away from us, yeah. we're here. Yeah. So, so Ray, tell us, you play a saxophone. There's yes, a do. specific type of saxophone. What kind of saxophone do you play? Well, lately I've been playing two kinds of saxophones, uh, the baritone sax and the tenor sax. And today I'll be playing the tenor sax. And so what's the difference? Uh, it's a different sound, right? It's, yeah, one is uh, lower and the other one's just slightly higher. It's a middle horn. The tenor is a middle horn. The baritone is a lower horn. Okay, and what got you started? Why did you choose the saxophone? I liked the shape when I was uh, eight years old. I liked the shape. So they said, okay, that's great. I'm glad you like the shape of the saxophone. You get to play the clarinet, which I did for 16 years. And then I got a saxophone. So when you got to have the say, you got what you wanted. Exactly. But back in those days, uh, you had to play the clarinet uh, in the school systems, and that's just how it was. You still do. My boys both came home with clarinets, but they're uh -huh. kind of straight and, and about a foot long. And Nothing squeaky. like a saxophone. <laughs> yes, very squeaky. Yeah. Okay, so who inspired you when it came to playing the saxophone? Who are your mentors? I think the first saxophone player I heard was Paul Desmond with the Dave Brubeck Quartet. And um, I've always loved his beautiful sound, you know, and it's just his uh, almost um, mathematic approach that's tinged with soul, tinged with the blues, but it's just uh, quite precise and beautifully, uh, be just a beautiful sound. You know, talking to you guys, I am definitely learning the, it's, it's an art and a science, and I guess a mathematics when it comes to music. Uh, it's yeah. not just a feel good. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, he's, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know how much classical music you listen to, but if you listen to Mozart, that music is almost precisely mathematic as you can get. Um, and I think that uh, Dave Brubeck and Paul Desmond had a classical background and approached jazz uh, almost in that way. And there was a whole, you know, way to go about playing uh, back then that uh, was almost like chamber music and yet had soul. I like that. It's the soul. Yes, gotta have soul. And, and the saxophone and jazz has your soul. Among other styles, yes. Love jazz. What other styles do you play? How about a nice polka? Oh, yeah, I danced polka for the first time today. Yeah, well, we played uh, two or three polkas yesterday. If you like polkas, the Katati Accordion Festival is where you come. Okay. Any fun stories you want to share with us about you in the music world? <laughs> oh, you put me on the spot here. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how about the first time you went on stage? Oh my goodness. The big stage. Uh, I'll tell you a quick one here. Um, uh, I joined a guy in college. Um, he heard me play the clarinet and he was starting a Martin Mull cover band called the Fabulous Furniture. So <laughs> go back into your YouTube uh, records and look up Martin Mull. M-O-L-E? M-U-L-L. -L. Oh, thank and you. The Fabulous Furniture. Okay, check that out on YouTube. And uh, Ray, how can we follow you and find out where you're playing and oh. if we want to kick up our feet for a polka or listen to some soul, blues, jazz? Well, uh, I'm on Facebook. Okay. Uh, uh, 
Ray Fernandez. Also, Spike Sykes and the Awesome Hotcakes yes. is my main group with Spike Sykes and his Awesome Hotcakes, of which I am one. He is an awesome hotcake. All right. <laughs> For sure. And uh, do I get to share you with the world? Please do. Okay. Hey, why not? That's right. Why not? The world and beyond. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Taya. Cheers, thank everybody. You.